It has long been discussed that showcasing your relationship on reality TV could be the kiss of death to your relationship. In the early 2000s, we saw this reality TV boom of celebrity couples showcasing their relationship on TV, especially on MTV. We saw Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson, The Barkers, Carmen Electra and Dave Navarro all go on MTV to give viewers an inside peek into the relationship only to say goodbye to those relationships just a short time after. And if you are a long-term viewer of the Bachelor franchise and its various spinoffs, you know that the success rate on that franchise is pretty small. Well, it seems that fundamental Mormon polygamous families that choose to go on on reality TV and showcase their relationships and their families to the world are not immune from that same relationship doom. I want to talk about the Briny family today. They appeared on Seeking Sister Wife season one. The patriarch of the Briny family, Drew, seems to have a lot in common with Cody Brown from Sister Wives. The biggest commonality is that most of Drew's wives seem to have left him. Let's get into today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Seeking Sister Wife, the show started off, in my opinion, with the intention of showcasing the courting process for specifically fundamental polygamous families. My name is Drew Briney. I'm an attorney. I have three wives. My first wife is April and we'll be celebrating 20 years here pretty soon. And my second wife is Arlie. We just did celebrate. 12 years, and Angela is my newest wife, and we have been married just a little over a year. Mormon fundamentalist teachings offer certain promises of happiness to people who live this lifestyle if they live it properly. We've seen many Mormon fundamental polygamous families seek to add additional wives to their family during the early seasons of Seeking Sister Wife, and another interesting aspect to the show was that it also showcased polygamous families that their driving force for living polygamy was either another religion or no religion at all. Seeking Sister Wife has deviated greatly from its original show concept, in my opinion, because it no longer features Mormon fundamental polygamous families one of the fan favorite families that we've watched for a couple seasons were the Winders and they were not asked back for the last season because it seems like the show is just going in a different direction. So season one featured many fundamental polygamous families and one of those families was the Briny family who if I had to describe the Briny family I would say they're probably a more authentic version of the Brown family. They would be pretty similar to the Brown family dynamic if the Brown family adults acted honestly and authentically in front of the cameras. The Briny family was a hot mess and the relationships between the sister wives, there were three sister wives, was not good. And for some reason, season one of Seeking Sister Wife is not available on Discovery Plus or TLC Go, which is super frustrating because it was a good season. But if you were to search Briny Family Seeking Sister Wife on YouTube, you can see many clips and you can get the gist of the family dynamic. So not only was Drew a lawyer, but he was specifically a lawyer for the AUB, the Apostolic United Brethren, which is the same fundamentalist sect that the Brown family was originally a part of. Here is first wife, April. I was 19 when I met Drew when he was 24. I first met April at a church on campus at BYU, and she's really easy to talk to, super bubbly, enthusiastic, charismatic. We got married a year from when we first met. He was really driven, and nothing was going to stop him. And we have eight children together. April and I were married in the Mormon church. 
We were monogamous for about eight years. During that time, I became inspired by the teachings of the early brethren, one of which was polygamy or plural marriage. I waited about a year after I had kind of fully accepted that into my life for April to come around to the same conclusions. I wasn't really open to it at the beginning. I was like, are you kidding me? No way, we don't want to do that. I had to think about it and pray about it and study it out for myself. And I just felt God saying to me, yes, I would want you to live this way. And I've learned that when the sister wives love each other, I mean, that's great. Now let's meet second wife, Aura Lee. I'm Aura Lee and I'm Drew's second wife. I grew up in a polygamous family. I had siblings from other moms and I was very familiar with the lifestyle and I knew I wanted it. Drew is a wonderful man. He really swept me off my feet literally a few times and eight months later we were married. Drew and I have six children together. I love being married to Drew, but my relationship with April tends to be more rocky. She can be very aggressive and bossy. There was a lot of clashing. And finally, we meet third wife, Angela. I'm Angela and I'm Drew's newest wife. I didn't grow up in this culture, but I was open to plural marriage because I started studying some of the religious history and I made the choice to embrace it and live it. So Drew and I met and we had almost an instant connection. I knew right away that this was the guy for me. Did Drew intentionally seek to only marry women whose names started with the letter A? Or is that just some weird coincidence? There is a lot of tension between these wives. I feel like April is extremely similar to Mary personality wise not based off of what we've seen on the show, but based off of how Janelle describes the early interactions between her and Mary and from what you can read in their book. I think if Mary acted more authentically in those early seasons of Sister Wives, it would look a whole lot like April. But a big difference between Mary and April is that April entered into her marriage with Drew with the intention of it being a monogamous marriage. In fact, they were married for eight years before Drew approached her with the idea of exploring plural marriage. Drew pulled the old bait and switch on his first wife, April, which kind of reminds me of the Merrifield from more current seasons of Seeking Sister Wife. Something that I've noticed with the Briney family as well with the Brown family is that Mary and April, the first wives, they really assert themselves and make it known that they were, they are the first wife. Janelle often spoke and wrote about in their book that she felt like she was never able to do anything right when it came to Mary in the early days. And from what we see here with Aura Lee, it looks like she's going through the same thing with April. When Drew proposed to me, April was there also. They both asked me to come into the family. When you add a second wife to the family, you have to learn how to share your husband. You have to learn how to deal with jealousy issues, insecurity, role changing. I love being married to Drew, but my relationship with April tends to be more rocky. When I first married to Drew, I lived together with Drew and April for about a year and a half. She can be very aggressive and bossy. There was a lot of clashing. There were personality clashes and they communicate very differently but those communication challenges have always been there. Another striking similarity I saw is that with April, while she is clearly miserable living this polygamous lifestyle, she ends up playing matchmaker for her husband, much like Mary ended up doing with Cody and Robin. Arlie and April and I were together for about 11 years before Arlie said, we really need to add to the family, but there was this constant challenge of finding somebody they both liked. So I went to April and said, who would be the perfect sister wife to you to add to the family? And within two weeks, we met Angela. I met April first at a mutual friend's house. She knew that I was interested and open to plural marriage, and she really wanted me to meet Drew. So Drew and I met, and we had almost an instant connection. I think that there's a lesson here. Adding more wives will not fix your miserable marriage. If your husband sucks. If he sucks, he just sucks. The Brineys made a bold move in season one. They ended up moving into one house altogether. They previously had lived separately and they were going public at the same time. The first season of Seeking Sister Wives really followed the family as they navigated those big changes in the family. Spoiler alert, things were not going well. 
And this is really where we started to see the Briny family kind of falling apart. Like ever since we've moved to this house, I have felt so much animosity from both of you. You come in, you give, give me dirty looks, you're unkind to me. I say something and you're talking about me behind my back. I feel like you guys are en my enemies, that you're against me, that you're trying to hurt me. But if you want a friend, you need to be friendly. I felt a need to protect myself because of what I view as manipulation. I'm actually really surprised how quickly downhill things went once we all moved in together. I really wasn't expecting that. And I have wondered, what have I gotten myself into? I don't think I can progress anymore in this conversation. So I would like to kind of, I just need a minute, okay? Can I say one thing? Just. The wives were not getting along when they were living separately and moving in together has proven to be a disaster. And I feel like that makes you look back on Christine and her refusal to even consider one big house in a kind of a new light. It makes you realize she was probably on to something there. She was protecting her own sanity, and I think she realized that cohabitating as one family would only serve to make the family dynamic worse. It also makes me wonder about when the husbands like Drew say things like polygamy will be successful if you live it properly. And I compare that to what Tony says during some of his and McKelty's Patreons, where he is not sure if it's even possible for an imperfect human with our human natures to be able to practice polygamy properly. So a couple days ago, Starcasm, which is one of my favorite news outlets that keeps up with all of these reality shows, they released an update for what's going on currently with the Briny family. And it is a whole bunch of bad news. So first wife April was actually the first wife to leave Drew. And Starcasm reports that in May of 2018, April packed up her six children. They actually have eight together, but two were adults, I believe, and not living with them. So they had six kids living with them when they were on the show. So April packed up her six children and told the rest of the family that they were headed for a hike near their Oregon home, but instead, April took them all back to Utah and she never came back, Angela revealed. Nor would she accept any communication for the first month or so. Drew filed for divorce um, in June of 2018. In Touch reported that the divorce was finalized on June 28th, but April later revealed that the divorce was actually finalized in March of 2019 after intense mediation. Darkasm goes on to report in this article that based off of social media posts over the last couple years, it really looks like third wife Angela has left the Briny family as well. Neither Drew or Angela has posted, yes, we have officially divorced or separated, so this is just based off of how they are depicting their relationship online. The first clue that Angela has left the family was the fact that she updated her social media to reflect her maiden name. So she has dropped Briny from her social media platforms. Starcasm also reports that Angela revealed on Facebook that she was living in Missouri in February of 2022 when she and her son Lenny moved to Southwest Utah near St. George. She also posts often about moving on after being in a difficult relationship. It looks like Angela has teamed up with some friends in Utah to start a small outdoor nature school focused on the discovery of health of the spirit, mind, and body first academic second. She is also involved with Red Rock Sanctuary in Ivins, Utah. According to the Red Rock Sanctuary Instagram account, the retreat's offerings include trauma release, a sound bath, a meditation labyrinth, colonic cellular regeneration, a sweat lodge, and human design readings. In yet another similar circumstance to the Brown family, the remaining Brinies Ara Lee and Drew also made the move to Arizona as Starcasm reports Drew 
also reveals that he and or Ara Lee were living in northern Arizona, right on the Utah border. That is yet another indication that he and Angela are no longer together. Additionally, in that article, Starcasm details a failed courtship of Drew and Ara Lee trying to bring on another wife. So if you want to read about that, click the link in the description of this video. I just cannot get over how many parallels there are between the Briny family and the Brown family. Many people talk about how showcasing your relationship on reality TV can be the kiss of death. And then you add on the very complicated nature of religious fundamental polygamy. It almost seems like public fundamental polygamists are doomed for failure from the get go. But it really just makes you take into consideration, like in the last video I mentioned, I found some of Tony's comments to be really in insightful about polygamy, specifically about us as human beings, our nature kind of being in direct conflict with what is required when it comes to fundamental polygamy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love. <laughs>